Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, Apple announced their 2022 WWDC. In this video, we're gonna go over what we can expect and what the invitation hints at. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Apple has historically released New versions of software such as iPadOS, iOS, macOS, tvOS, watchOS, etc. And this year is expected to be no different to normal. With, a so with the software updates, but we can also expect some new products at this event or conference. Apple has done this in the past. Take 2019 WWDC for example. They introduced the Pro Display XDR and the 2019 version of the Mac Pro. Now these weren't launched until December, but they did announce them at the event. Um, this year we can expect the same with a Studio Display Pro and a new 2022 version of the Mac Studio. Now, they, they could introduce one last final chip to the M1 family or start a new Apple Silicon family with the M2 chips. The chip going inside the Mac Pro is expected to be a M1 Extreme or an M2 Extreme starting off the M2 family. Possibly an iMac Pro as well at WWDC and AirPods Pro 2 coming at the event. Now we've seen rumors and leaks of the iMac Pro coming at the event. We haven't seen anything hinting at the event, at the AirPods Pro 2 coming at this event, but it is highly likely as well with with them needing a new update. We don't know if they will come at the event or in another event this year, but we do have a very strong feeling that they will be coming in 2022. WWDC is a week long event with the keynote starting off the week and little workshops for developers throughout the week. This year's WWDC is set to take place on the 6th of June to the 10th of June. The invite went out on Apple's developer app and website. Um, the invitation saying, join developers worldwide, join developers worldwide from June 6th to June 10th for an, for an inspiring week of technology and community. Get a first look at Apple's latest platforms and technologies in sessions. Explore and community. Ex sorry. Explore the newest tools and tips to and connect with Apple experts in labs and digital lounges, all online at no cost. In addition to the online conference, Apple will host a special day for developers and students at Apple Park on June 6th to watch the keynote and State of the Union videos. Together, along with the other com on with the online community space is limited and details on how to apply to attend will be provided soon. Wherever you watch from, get ready for a fantastic WWDC. Talented students can showcase their creativity for the opportunity to receive an award in the Swift Student Challenge. The, in the invite looks great. Now, let's take a deep dive into what the invite hints at. Okay, well, as you can see, the invite looks just like the Swift Playground icon, but in a dark concentration with a colorful ring around it somewhat, that somewhat looks like the peak performance invitation. 
Now, with that, as we know, in the pre peak performance event, Apple announced a brand new display called the Studio Display, which makes me think we could be expecting a Studio Display Pro with those colors hinting at the colors that the Studio Display can uh, see. The Swift Playgrounds logo is, it also leads me to believe that we could see a new coding app or a new version of Swift Playgrounds throughout the week. Or that might just be in link with the Swift, with the Student Swift Challenge. Um, that, and then of course, if they're going to announce another display, they may as well announce a computer to go along with that display most likely the Mac Pro with the M1 or M2 Extreme. Okay, that's all I have to say about the event. As always, like and subscribe for more to stay updated on WWDC and what actually got announced. Leave your guesses about what the new version of macOS will be called down in the comments.